Hey beauties, happy Thanksgiving. This will be loaded on Thanksgiving. So I wanted to make sure to wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving. For today, I just wanna help you guys with your Black Friday picks. I have some things that I have been getting and I wanted to show you what I feel about those things as well as give you some ideas that you may want for uh, Black Friday shopping. So if you guys are interested in seeing my tips and tricks of things that I think that you may want for Black Friday, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed subscribe subscribe hey hey subscribe subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed thank you so much for your support thank you so much for watching and let's get started on this sleigh all right bd so we're getting started right now we're going to start off with our elf matte oil control lotion from elf cosmetics as you guys know this is a staple in my routine for oily skin, I definitely highly recommend this moisturizer. It has clay in it and other things that um, absorb your oil on your face. So it helps your makeup to stay flawless even longer. It has a little stickiness to it as well, which you know is always great for making your foundation stick. That is something I definitely would recommend that you get from e.l.f. Cosmetics during the Black Friday sale. The next thing you guys see me use pretty much every time I do my makeup, every once in a while, I'll dipple and dapple and try a different thing. But for the most part, it's always the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. This uh, is a really nice primer to really coat your pores. If you have pores and you need them to be filled in, this is the this is the best affordable one um, that I know of. I know Tatcha Canvas is really what this is mimicked after, and I have not tried that one because it is just a little out of my price range. However, I know this one for me has been like my go to since it came out. I have like extras and extras and extras just in case I run out because we cannot have that. So, I highly recommend you guys get the elf poreless primer if you have large pores and you want your skin nice and smooth if you have oily skin that's the one the next thing i'm going to suggest for you guys is from the crayon case the crayon case always has a bomb cyber deal for monday so make sure that you guys look and see what they're going to be having on their cyber monday deal um and one of the things i love is the chalk dust powders these will probably be on sale and this is the letter A. This one is like my complexion and it is just a really nice powder that helps with no flashback. So I like to put it on prior to my foundation and even after I apply my foundation to add the extra coverage that I want without having flashback when I add my setting powders. So I am adding this powder now. And as you can see, any shine that I have is going away instantly but try the chalk dust powders from the crayon case for a cyber monday look at how mattified my skin is just that fast and then just melt it right in next thing we're going to be doing is trying pat mcgrath now i have not tried this one before so we'll be able to see by the end of this video if we are going to recommend this i have heard good things so i'm really excited they had 30 percent off and i believe they have that right now at pat mcgrath so if you've ever been wanting to try it this is the time where you can actually save some coinage and um try this foundation because pat mcgrath you know is very expensive so Whenever they have a really good sale, that's the times when I think that you should go ahead and um, splurge on yourself and try out the products. So I researched this to make sure that it was my right color because we don't have no time to be sending nothing back. Um, so I think I did pretty good with my pick for the foundation. Look at how nice the packaging is. It's really nice sturdy cardboard. And um, this is how it looks. And then you just lift it, voila. Look at that, that's so nice. You see that? So I love that. And then this is the foundation. So look at this, it's in a frosted bottle. And from the frosted bottle, so far it's looking very golden. I think it should be good. We'll see. So this is the packaging. It's really, really nice. Frosted bottle. The top has the black and gold. I'm loving that so far. 
The color I got is medium deep 23. So now I'm going to pump this out. Ooh. It's kind of, it's a, actually more of a watery formula now that I've sprayed it on my, my hand. I'm just gonna apply that. Oh yes, that's a really good match for me. I'm applying that into the areas where I apply my foundation. This is two pumps. It's looking like skin right now. It looks really, really good. It feels really nice and lightweight. So far, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, as we are where we are right now with it, I'm loving how it's looking. I'm loving how it's melting into my skin. Look at the color match. That color match is so good. Now I'm gonna go into my MAC Cosmetics. This is a Studio MAC um, foundation stick and this is in NW50. And I have been loving this as a contour shade. I feel like it is like the perfect amount of red and like um, red and um, golden undertones. It's not too red and it's not too golden and it's not too ashy. It's like the perfect contour. So you can see that. I've been using this for a while. Um, I definitely recommend going to MAC and trying these sticks. I use them for highlighting and contouring. I don't really um, use stick foundations for my whole face, but I do want to try Huda Beauty's foundation stick. So I would recommend you guys try that based on what I've seen from other people trying it. I would suggest if you want to try some new makeup, try the new Huda Beauty um, foundation sticks because I have seen nothing but good things about them. So I'm definitely going to be copping them myself. Next I'm going to go into my 16 Juvia's Place Concealer. This is from Juvia's Place like I said and this concealer is really nice to me. It has a nice consistency and it is very very full coverage and I use it all the time and I have re-upped on it a couple of times so I would definitely recommend if you have not tried this concealer to try this one. I'm also going to try the um, Too Faced one because I have heard a lot of good things about that one. But this one I know I've had and I've used for um, some time now and it has not steered me wrong. So try Juvia's Place um, concealers if you are interested in trying a new concealer this holiday season. This is a Morphe brush. If you haven't tried any um, Morphe brushes, I definitely recommend you guys try some Morphe brushes during this holiday season. Their brushes are affordable and with the Black Friday sale, that would be even more affordable. And they are just really nice quality at a good price point. So that's good. It's looking a little light, of course, because I just blended in right around these areas where I have the highlight as well. But once we blend that contour, it's going to bring everything together. Make sure to blend up and around. And it's right at the jawbone. go in and we're going to blend in the blush and I'm just going to tap 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 so now it's time to do our final step as far as the blending and go in with our sponge and blend in the highlighted areas not using as much concealer so So that is what we're looking like, you guys. Isn't everything looking good? Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my contour brush and I'm gonna just blend over the areas where I need to contour. Go around. This foundation is looking so good, you guys. I really love it. Just look at the coverage. Even though it was really nice, it was like a watery, light co um, coverage. You can see it looks just like my skin it's on my hand right now look you can see 
it literally is like my skin tone this is the where I had sprayed it and you can see this is not even blended out and it is just like the perfect complexion so I'm so happy with the match that I did for my color match it's bomb try Pat McGrath so now we're gonna go ahead and set our entire face remember I told you guys I used the a chalk dust powder again after my foundation that's what we're gonna do right now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this powder I'm gonna go around my face and this is just setting everything right now so I'm using a, a very light veil of powder to do this I like to do this like I said because it prevents flashback when I add my highlighting powders and I'm loving what I'm seeing it looks so good and just so just for reference um, my neck is darker than the rest of my face so you can see if I just pull this down how much lighter my shoulder is the center of my chest it just like from my neck down to about here it's all darker but this is like my complexion so I get hyperpigmentation in the areas where it creases and that's where it creases from my bra but I'm actually this complexion and that's what I'm trying to match and the next thing I'm going to recommend to you guys is the flower powders from Beauty Bakery these powders are really nice and finely milled and they just give you just a nice beautiful tone I like the tones that they are and um, I definitely recommend you try the flower powders from Beauty Bakery if you have not um, during their Black Friday sale so you guys are gonna see right now as I go through how nice and finely milled they are you see that it's like not too heavy and this one has more of a golden tone here because that's where I get some creasing Now, for your list for the crayon case, I told you guys about the A Chalk Dust Powder. The next thing I recommend is the Contrasition Notebook, you guys. They have a new one right now, but it's pretty much the same thing. They've just added a couple of shades, and this is how it looks. It is bomb. This book has, like, all the colors you need to get the perfect contour, and they have the cool shades, which is what you want for um, when you are contouring. And contour... Look at that. Mm, see the difference? Immediately, right? Cheekbone is lifting, honey. This is what we're looking like, y'all. It's looking good. Next, we're going to go into this flower powder in cassava. We're about to add shadow. So I'm going to let it be a little thick right here. The next thing we're going to do now that we have the base done is start on the eyes. One of the things that I do recommend that you guys get if you are looking for a nice eye base is the, ba the bases from Fruits Cosmetics. These bases are from a black owned company and the bases are really nice and opaque and just give your shadow the perfect tint so that it pops you want it to pop when you put your shadow on you don't want it to just fade out throughout the day if you put this on it will not fade out throughout the day it will pop the whole time you have it on when you put the base on make sure to blend it all the way out i like to blend it either with a brush or my finger the finger helps to kind of warm it up into the skin okay so the next thing we're going to be trying is the new naughty nudes from huda beauty so this is the packaging it comes in it comes into this plastic here you take that off and this is how it looks it's beautiful chocolatey color and then this is the colors look how gorgeous that is so if you are looking for a new shadow palette and if you um haven't tried Huda or really like the color scheme of this palette I definitely would recommend you guys try and get your hands on it right now during the Black Friday sale. So we're going to go ahead and go into some of these colors to create our eye look. I'm going to I want it to be pretty deep 
So I'm going to go into this color called Spicy. Tap that on the outer part of the eye. And then tap it going in. Just like this. And I'm using a very small brush to do that. So that I can get the precision I want. I don't want this to be too blended out. Not the darker color. But as we go lighter, then we'll go into another brush. And then I'm going to make sure that this line going out is pretty defined. Like that. And then back in like this. And I'm just using a tapping motion as I'm doing this. Perfect. This is what the eye should be looking like right now. Next, I'm going to go into a fluffier blending brush um, as we start to blend the other colors. See that pigmentation, y'all? You see that pigmentation? All I did was a few, just tap, 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 and then did all that. And I think I only tapped into it twice. Next, we're going to go ahead and go into the color called Naughty. And I'm going to tap that right along the line right here. Just like that. That just kind of blew it out a little bit more and gave it a little bit more of a transition. Now I want to go into a smaller brush once again to add the lighter color and then we'll blend it again with the larger brush. So I'm going to go into this brush here and I'm going to go into Arouse and tap that right on the line here. Then I want to fade that out even more so I'm going to go into Juicy and tap that right above there. And then I'm going to start blending it out. So I'm going to get the big fluffy blending brush and just blend that out. And now I'm going to bring it forward. And you can see all these colors blend really nicely together. I have um, a lot of Huda palettes and they do always usually blend pretty nicely. That looks good. Now it's time to start cutting the crease. That already looks good, y'all. I'm loving it so much. I'm going to get my big fluffy brush and just blend in right here. And I haven't added any additional product. I'm just blending the shadow that we have here in with the base. So for the front of the eye, I'm going to go into the color called Flower Power. It is this little marbly color here. And now she's on the front. Now as we get further into the eye, we're going to go into this color called Tantric and add that. It's more of a copper color. Now I'm going to go back into the spicy color to the outer part of the eye and then into the naughty color for the inner part of the eye right here so we blend that into the gold then get the big fluffy brush blend that together Next, I'm going to go into this slippery color. I'm supposed to add some shine. It's a really weird 
glossy kind of thing going on. So this is the Fruits Cosmetics Black Liner. I highly recommend this liner. If you are in a shop for Fruits Cosmetics this Thanksgiving, definitely try this liner out. It is a very, very, very nice tip to it. Just shake it up and apply. Then I'm going to go ahead and go into the brush we used before and go into the spicy color and just tap that right on top of the black liner. Next I'm going to go into spicy and I'm going to go underneath the eye. And now I'm going into the color Naughty. Alright, so next we're going to go in with the Inglot 77 liner. Now I've been using this liner forever and I've had this liner forever. And so I definitely highly recommend it. It's very black, which is what you want in a black liner. And it's matte and it lasts a long time as long as you keep the cap on it. Alright beauties, it's brow time. I'm using this brow pencil from Elf Cosmetics. This is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This is so perfect you guys. It is like the perfect consistency and it just is like very precise. Like it says, it stays sharpened. So I definitely recommend you get your hands on this for this holiday season. I promise you will be very, very happy with this pencil. So I'm going to line underneath the brow. I use the color brunette because my hair color is not black it's like a not even an I want to say a dark brown it's like a medium brown so I like to use this color first I line under the brow like I just did then I'll just kind of fill in the brow like I am Anytime I see it where it looks like it may be a little too harsh, that's when you'll see me use the spoolie. I'm going to do some hair-like strokes with the pencil to fill in the brow. Then we're going to go across the top. Gently. See that brow? Ultra precise. Brow snatched, then a B. Brow snatched, then a B. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into a little bit of the foundation, like a tiny smidgen, smidgen boo, and clean up these brows. Alright beauties, this is looking so beautiful. I'm so here for it. We're going to go ahead and dust away the excess powder. Now we're going to go ahead and add our mascaras. So I use two mascaras. I use the Fenty Beauty mascara and this is the Full Frontal Mascara. Now to get the bottom lashes pop popping, sha popping, I use the Shop Miss A mascara, and this is a mascara I definitely suggest you get for uh, Black Friday. This mascara is so 
bomb. Like this mascara is a dollar from Shop Miss A. Licking my bottom lashes right now. I'm about to show you some magic, okay? Let's go ahead. Look at the difference. Can you guys see that difference? It looks so good. Like my bottom lashes look like they're all the way down here. And there's up here, they're fuller with the Fenty Beauty one. And then this one separates and makes them look so long. I love it. Bottom lashes popping, period, period, okay? That's another thing to put on your list. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do our lashes. Now for lashes, I've been loving the Ardell Mega Volume Collection. This is the style 259. I've worn them before, so they look all messed up. But I definitely suggest for drugstore, if you're looking for something to buy for Black Friday, definitely check out these lashes from Ardell. They are so bomb, you're about to see. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this lash glue. This is the dual black. I usually use the clear. Can't find it right now, so we're just gonna use this one right now. Now we need the inner corner moment. Inner corner moment, okay? I'm gonna go into this color here and add it to the inner corner. All right, beauty, so now we're gonna go ahead and finish the face. So now that we are highlighted and contoured, everything is looking beautiful, it's time to bronze. So I'm gonna go into the blush binder from the crayon case and we're going to bronze. This is a Excellent buy from the crayon case if you are looking for something to buy for the um, Cyber Monday sale this here look at this binder look at how many blushes you get That's one page another page Another page you see that Oop. You get three pages of blushes, so I highly recommend this for your Cyber Monday. Just blushing. This is my bronzer. I use these two colors here. So it has bronzers as well as blushes in it. It can be used on the eyes, bronzer, blush, all of it. You see that? Now you see how blood, how bronzed the skin looks. It just brings the perfect amount of warmth that you may have been missing. So now we're gonna go into the blush. Then I'm gonna use this blush right here. Tap it. It's very pigmented, so you need one tap for both sides of your face. Now I'm going to take my sponge, I have not added any additional product, and I'm going to just go over the highlighted areas just to reinforce the highlight and blend everything together. For highlight, if you are going to be shopping Fruits Cosmetics, I would suggest this highlighter here. This is a translucent face powder. And this is going to be a beautiful beautiful color to add to your looks the color it comes out to really really beautiful I don't like to highlight a lot anymore so I'm going to add it a, t a little to the tip of my nose and right between my eyes and then just kind of move it like this with my finger so I just want it to be right here Then tap that out, add a little to the cupid's bow. And 
and tap it out. And then add a little to the cheekbone, tiny, tiny bit. That's good, y'all. I like to use the e.l.f. Cosmetics blotting powder to bring everything together and take away the extra shine. This is in the color Deep. I'm just going to tap into it and literally just tap around my face. It's like that added touch and it really just blots away any, if you have like any areas where the excess powder, I mean excess oil looks like it's starting to come up, bam, takes it right away. Now we're going to do lips. So for the lips, I have some lipsticks from Lashing Out Glam. There's a new Bare Nudes collection. You want to hit up Lashing Out Glam and you want to get some stuff from this collection. Look at these boxes, okay? These are all beautiful nudes, and I'm going to be wearing one today. And then I'm going to do a lip swatch video separate to this where you can see all of the, look, the colors. So we're going to go in with King and Exposed for today. So King is a chocolate brown. Ooh, look how beautiful the packaging is. I'm going to take this out of here. And this is how it looks. Just nice and sleek and beautiful. And this brown looks beautiful. Tell me that brown is not perfect. It goes perfect with this sweater. And I think I'm actually going to go in with creamer from the Bare Nudes collection. Ooh, look at that. Very beautiful. Oh, this is actually a gloss. They taste so good, you guys. It's like a vanilla. Mm. Tastes like vanilla. It tastes really good. So beautiful. I want to add a little bit of my cake batter from Lashing Out Glam. Mm -hmm. That is it. This is a look. I'm going to go ahead and add some bedazzlements and I'll be back. Alright beauty, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed the suggestions I was able to give you guys on what makeup you should be possibly looking for to buy. These are some of my favorite things that I was able to list for you guys that I've been using as of late and are just bomb. And if I were looking for something for Black Friday, some of these products are the products I'd be looking for. So we had... Ooh, almost dropped it. <laughs> we had our Pat McGrath foundation here. Bomb. You can look at my skin. I cannot lie to you. It is bomb. My skin looks beautiful. Um, what else did we use? We also used the Naughty Palette from Huda Beauty. I have not. This is my first time using this palette. And I am so here for it. It's so beautiful. My eyes are just ugh, everything. So definitely look into that. The lashes are the Ardell Volume. So these are the Mega Volume Lashes. They have this new collection. 
and it has a new technology that curls up and it looks beautiful. Um, we have the Fruits Cosmetics um, eye base and highlighter that I am absolutely loving. These lippies from Lashing Out Glam, Bare Nudes Collection. Look at this lip. Do you see it? Do you see it? Get these, okay? Um, this powder, my face is mattified and I have oily skin. That is thanks to this chalk dust powder. My highlight is just a perfect tint. That is thanks to this flower powder here. My contour is sitting, okay? That is thanks to this Contradition Notebook here. And this blush binder is why my cheeks are rosy and I am bronzed, okay? These brows are from the e.l.f. Cosmetics Precise Brow Pencil. Um, let's see. I think that is everything that we had on the list you guys let me know if you guys are going to get any of these products and how they work out for you let me know if this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for your support thank you for watching and have a happy thanksgiving once again and don't forget to be your own kind of beautiful because there's only one you bye